Okay, so we have some things to do. Uh, we need to check our journal. Go shopping, then go to Shadowgrim Burrow. Burrow or Barrow? I think it's Barrow. Shadowgrim Barrow and Rift and Hold. Okay, so we need to go shopping. We have our shop. We should have our shopping items on us. You know, shopping as in selling. Um. Yep, we sure do, because we have the Staff of Mage Light, which we were going to sell. Because I don't need the Staff of Mage Light, because I have the Night Eye spell. And I have Gore in the Iron Hand set. He's not u using the Iron Hand Greatsword. And the Iron Hand Greatsword is not patched in my overhaul. So, it is uh, not doing as much damage as the other late game Greatswords. Um... And, um, so it's on display right now. The weapon is on display. What are you doing, Remy? I'll be needing some gold for supplies. Let's see here. There's actually another instance of something similar with the joint MBT-70 project between the U.S. and Germany. Its main gun was a 152mm gun launcher, meaning it could fire conventional ammo and anti-tank missiles. Weird. It had a fin stabilized Sabo, which was exceptionally shit at hitting anything. Remy, calm down. Be careful. Oh? Is it... I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Oh! Right. Take pity, lady and spirit. Um, we we commissioned Farangar to re-enchant a sword for Lydia, who is, of course, uh, not in the party right now. So we're gonna we're gonna just double check craftsman's notice. Greetings, Frida the Bard. I am writing to inform you I have finished your commission. You can come pick up your order anytime you deem opportune. Always at your service, Adrian Avenici. Adrian Avenici. I had a, I had a thing from Farangar like almost a week ago now. I hope you're finding the city in proper order, Thane. Did he not finish my order? Or does it just take really long Sorry. for for enchanters to finish a commission? Which Adrian has finished a commission, so what we're gonna do some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. What we're gonna do is we're gonna sell to her first. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in White Run. Yorland Greymane's got that honor. Man's steel is legendary. All I ask is a fair chance. Uh well, I want to sell you some things. Take a look. We need to sell the... Sell that. Sell these. Sell this. Sell this. Uh, okay. About my order. Hmm? Are my items ready? Of course. That's going to cost me not much. Of course, I have the I have the male gloves that I'm no longer going to wear because they're not as good. But at least if I wanted to wear a full set of male armor, I now have a full set of male armor. So, stubby gun, a lot of energy, 3 kilogram penetrator. How could that ever go wrong? The heat shell for reference was some... 20 kilograms. <coughs> yeah, that doesn't sound like a very good time. How do you do, Thane? 
And the only reason Adrian was willing to sell to me was because I think she starts working at 7 a.m. before the shops open, but she also stops working at 5 p.m. when the shop is still open until 8 p.m. So, um, her husband, I forget the name of, will still sell things to you, but she's working the forge from before the shop opens to before the shop closes. Uh, so, what we need to do is we need to wait. Oh, that's the wrong amount of hours I wanted to wait. Uh, I just wanted to wait for a couple hours, and I instinctively put it to eight hours. Oops, I guess we sat here all day. Player error versus character error. Now it's loading up all the NPCs here. The way the Nords here talk about Remy, can you calm down? I don't, I don't need you bounding up and off the desk. The as good a place as any. All right. Let's have some food. Oh, my venison chop is stale. I did get it from a dungeon. Let's have that meat pie. Fresh from the wilds. Ah, was it? Then I'll have a an apple. What brings you to the market? I'm here to buy food, Nazim. I suppose you don't need to worry about that. Owning a farm does have its advantages. Tired of bread and stew? Still not full. Had enough of fish and fowl? Treat yourself and your kin to a choice cut of steak or a tender rack of ribs. Oh, we're dirty now. So we're going to have to spend some time... Uh... Bathing. work you need how about chopping up some wood for the fires i need the access key to the bath thank you here the whole project is, is one hell of a train wreck the tank had a three-man crew all of which were in the turret driver included is that bad all right get me in here i'm assuming that's bad And we're gonna buy a dragon's tongue. QS tried to give the driver normal vision from the hull using some crazy futuristic nonsense. Drivers would get sick because the turret is rotating while they're driving straight looking at the road. Yeah, that doesn't sound very fun. Use the dragon's tongue soap. All right, now our speech is higher. Our speech craft is higher. So now, when we uh, shop, not only will we have a higher speech to get a better disc, to get a discount on buying and an increase on, in. on selling, but we're wearing the Whiterun signet ring, which will show to people that we are the Thane of Whiterun. Which gives us a further discount on buying and a further increase on selling. And we have a necklace of haggling, which again reduces price 
and increases the the set the sale price of our items so let's get that taken care of and i also need to go talk to farangar and see about my order that i put in like several days ago because i'd rather not lose the sword that i wanted to give to lydia because it was bolar's oath blade like an actual amazing sword and it's gonna be a little troublesome if I just lost that sword to the ether because he didn't actually tell me my commission was done. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. You and me, we're the only people around who aren't complete fools. Uh, what have you got for sale? Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. It also had an auto loader instead of relying on raw man muscle to load the main gun. Remy, you're in the way. Germany had their own version of said mechanism, and of course it could not load the missiles, the whole point of creating that gun. The autoloader would instead ruin the missile, ruin itself, and create a potential ammo detonation risk. Yeah, sounds like a hell of a lot of fun. Jesus Christ. Okay, we have some things to sell. We need to sell the... The staff. Sell the cloak. Necklace. Mantle robes circlet ring bracelet and headdress speaking of my speech getting higher potion of the berserker needs to be sold because we're not going to use that mm, we'll sell that Sell our goat roast and venison shops since they're bad. Yes, we're going to sell him slightly stale food. <laughs> uh, do we have any books we could sell? Maybe spell tomes? Nope. Alright, uh, how about some gemeralds? Okay, we, we have a lot of money. We need to put, we need to squirrel some of it away. And then we need to keep a lot, around a thousand on us. So, circle of strength. That's restoration. Hailstone. Prepare for adventure. Hmm. Also, derivative of the same gun used on the M551 Sheridan. Had the Vera, very OSHA approved issue of the combustible propellant causing cases leaving cinders inside the barrel, causing some early Sheridans to nuke themselves. Jesus. I got a sneeze coming. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Not much here. I'm looking for a whistle. It's fascinating how much garbage came out of US tank factories during the Cold War. Yeah, it sounds like it. Sounds like they didn't really know what they were doing. Oh, that's not the button I wanted. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. I wanted to Okay. I'm assuming it's going to take a while before the uh, merchant's inventories update. 
because I added a mod called, uh, I think it's just Simple Horse Whistle is the name. And it adds a whistle that can be bought at merchants that you can call your horse with. Alright, let's go stop at Dragon's Reach because we need to talk to Farangar. Because we had him, we, we went to him so he could re-enchant a sword, but I never got to notice that it was done. So I want to make sure that the sword just isn't in the ether. Come to chat with an old woman, hmm? Do your good deed for the day. So, have you got the metal bane back from those filthy hag ravens yet? No. It's a fine day with you around. And what does the Empire do? Nothing! Nay, worse than nothing! The Imperial Machine enforces the will of the Dalmor against its own people! So rise up! Rise up! Keep hearing Empire. bangs and bops. From my lovely upstairs neighbor who keeps doing that several for several months now. I'm starting to think it's not a neighbor and more just maintenance being loud. Hell, even your beloved Abrams tank started off terribly. The tank's commander pretty much had the same observation devices that an M4 Sherman's commander would have in 1944 in the 80s. It took until the M1A2 for that to get fixed, a variant that came out like 5 or 10 years later. Yeah, the M1A2 Abrams is actually amazing. And in fact, we probably wouldn't have gotten through the first Iraqi war... Or, or rather, the Gulf War, without the Abrams, the 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 tank, the armor campaign, in in the Gulf War was a, a complete and utter victory for the U.S. military. Which it sounds like, you know, at the time, they would have had this M1A2 version. <sighs> ah, kurva. Tired. Might even take a nap today. Alright, Farangar. Is my, uh, is my sword ready to give to Lydia for her to not use? Divine smile on you, friend. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors? About my order. Hmm? Is it ready? Of course. Yeah, I never, I never got a notification saying it was done. Did you just not tell the courier? This damnable conflict has claimed everyone's passions of late. Me? I prefer my books. And my spells. Well, since we're here. There's a tranquility in magic, don't you think? It is simply energy to be harnessed by those with the will and knowledge to do so. Uh... What have you got for sale? Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. Okay. Spell tomes. Hmm. Maybe I'll buy that.
Yeah, this is like one of the most broken spells. And I think Apocalypse or whatever. Early Abrams also had terrible air filters, which caused plenty of premature engine failures. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Uh, yeah, that sounds like a good spell to have. Same with that one. There's also the M247 Sergeant York anti-air tank. Uh, base anti-air tank based on the M48 Patton platform. Targeting system was so terrible that the first time they turned it on during demonstration, it aimed at spectators. They fixed it that they fixed that and then it fired towards the target, except missed by almost half a kilometer and hit the ground. It's also in the 1980s, by the way. Right, right. That sounds like a great spell to have. <laughs> Two different spells named Soothe, and they both do different things. Got to drink some water soon. Oh. That's kind of a cool spell. Okay, we're done buying spell tomes. You know, now let's learn the most intuitive, immersive way ever. Um, that, that's the wrong thing. Join the mages college okay, we have new spells. Now we gotta go home and we need to uh, put some money away. We gotta put some money in our safe. All right, let's drink that water. Its own gun barrels also interfered with the radar when aiming high. Sometimes I wonder how in the world the F-14 could have a radar capable of tracking about a dozen targets at once up to like 20 kilometers, 10 years for any of that nonsense with the M-247. I think it was like the growing pains of the military industrial complex that we all love, we all know and love today. I may need to take a break so I can refill my water. Okay. We need to go home, put some money away. Gotta squirrel our money away. Um, I have a few more shops to purchase. We need to purchase... Uh, Arcadius Cauldron. Um, we need to purchase. The Drunken Huntsman. We need to purchase the Riverwood Trader. And then we need to purchase. Um. 
we need to purchase the Sleeping Giant Inn. And I would have purchased Alvor's shop if I had the money, uh, but Alvor is dead. He died the moment I was going to turn in a missive for him. I was going to give him six copper ores, and he was going to give me something of value in return, whether that's money or otherwise. But I went to Riverwood, a dragon attacked, and Alvor, in his infinite Nordic wisdom, decided to run out into the fray without any sort of ranged weaponry and to just stand there where he was blasted with frost breath and then he died. Smartest Nord. So not only did I miss out on turning in the missive, because, it li well, it literally failed when he died. But I can now, if purchasing his smithy was an option, I now no longer have that option. I also need to purchase the War Maidens as well. In fact, let's make a journal entry about that new shops yet to shops. I need to purchase uh, is oh, that, that's definitely not the right button is um Arcadia's Cauldron White Run um War Maidens White Run, Drunken Huntsman, White Run, Riverwood Trader, Riverwood, Sleeping Giant Inn, Riverwood. This is, these are all very expensive things. These are like anywhere from six to seven thousand gold. Um, oh, I was gonna say, video game, you better not. You better not crash right after I made the journal entry. Also, I can, I, I'm gonna, I, I need to drop off Lydia's sword at home so I'm not busy carrying it. I'm also going to drop off one of my hunting knives. I'm going to drop off the orcish one. I want to keep one hunting knife on me. Because then if I need a dagger for whatever reason, I have a dagger. Because I do have crafting requires tools. Which means if I don't have a dagger, I can't use a tanning rack. So... I spend a lot of time at the market stall so I can learn the merchant's trade. I need more experience if I'm going to run an inn someday. And then, um... I'm gonna keep the pickaxe and woodcutter's axe on me. Which, of course, we don't have just a woodcutter's axe. We have the poacher's axe. Um... Oh, who's this guy? Who are you, sir? What on earth? What spell did you cast on her? Oh, you're. You. What are you? Please take Mother Mara's blessing to wash this unease away. What you own about? Mother guides me to those flickering souls who are yet to cast themselves on the fire for tomorrow's utopia. She sees in you potential, potential which can avert calamity. I, her most devoted servant, need you to believe in the goodness of your heart, in love. Stop with the incessant rambling and get to the point. Forgive her beloved child of entropy. For all her conviction, she only looks up, blind to those below the clouds which she wishes to ascend. There is a terror, a terror of minds and ideas forming in the West. A congliage of antipathy and repressed hatred is nearing its sun. 
If this horror transpires, then neither the restraints of distance nor time will thwart the canker that will be birthed there. I make this plea to you, special child. Meditate between the opposites and I don't see think that's the word. in the chaos. I will help whenever I can, but my light is weak. However, even the faintest flame can act as a beacon against the background of deep night. That flame will appear to you in a maze of dark when you most need it. Mara? What is this? There is nothing to decipher. Just take heed of these words. Go west and see. Open those eyes and see that which belies its splendor. Beset by men, gods, kings, and ideas. Keep a clear eye. Keep your head above water when you reach that realm. The tides of want can drown any who venture too far from the shore. Interesting. What should I do then? You're still speaking in riddles. Huh? Sorry. Ugh, my head. What on man? What spell did you cast on her? I know no such spell. Whatever it was had affected me as well. Yes. Yes, I saw. You were mumbling to yourself. Almost word for word, that of Jayana. It, forgive me. Our travels have put me in a hastened mood. Your priestess had Mara speaking through her. Told me about a place in the West. Didn't know madness could be contracted. Is this a jest you're both in on? Does it look like I'm jesting? Just tell me about this place. No, it looks like you're serious, which worries me a lot more. The closest I can come to answering your visions is that we had just hailed from Evermore, which may be that west you want. If you're dead set on taking voyage there, then a merchant who has a route between that hinterland kingdom and Skyrim should be resting at Markarth. Word of warning. If you care to listen, the Reach isn't a place you want to risk your neck just on the visions of a zealous priestess. Seek out the venturing merchant. Okay, we'll do that later. Um, first. Are you doffed? Greetings. Hello. Need to do a few things at home. What are you looking at? I'm not afraid of you, you know, even if you are my elder. We need to put Lydia's sword away. We need to put some money away. You're nothing but trouble. I think I don't. Well, I, I think. Been keeping out of trouble much? I hope not. Stenbar, you're in the way. I think Sven says that to us lovingly. It's like, oh, you, you're nothing but trouble. That kind of thing. that away oh we need to go talk to Amran real quick I was gonna do that last time and I didn't uh, um, favorite that I'm gonna put these arrows away My gloves away. Um, keep the soap. Oh, we should probably. How much salt do we have? We have a bit. Let's 
let's put some of the money away. Put it away 3052. It's going to be a while. 3052. Then we have a thousand dollar reduce on us. Let's grab some meat. It should be salted, right? We should we should have some salted meat in here. Grab the raw beef, rabbit legs, and a mammoth snout or two. There. Is this indeed salted? They're not salted, but I thought they were. Okay, let's try the raw beef first. Salt. And the raw rabbit leg, salt. And then uh, the mammoth snouts, salt. And I, so we're gonna we're gonna keep the mammoth snouts on us. In fact, we're gonna cook them. Should be able to cook them. If you need some skulls crushed, I'm still available for hire. All right, let's cook. Sven, we must cook. I hate the concept of eating mammoth trunk. Yeah, it's not exactly. The most appealing. Mammoth steak. Mead with juniper berry. Stores 20 stamina per second. Oh. Perfume. Oh. Keep that in mind. I can make vampire oil. Sure, why not? Is it the last of our salt for that? Oh, oh, we can make an acidic berry extract that takes snowberries, lavender, and juniper berries. I suppose I could spend my lavender on that. Okay. And then here's, of course, the Iron Hand Great Sword. Oh, looks pretty nice. All right, let's give it a save and let's hit the road. So, we need to go to Shattergrim Barrow, which is to the east. I'll be needing some gold for supplies. Okay, let's grab our new spells and favorite them. So let's see, we have Fox Skin, Open Lock, Bask, uh, Crying Eye, uh, Silence, and Soothe. Uh, and then we also have Kindle. And we have a soul. So we're going to unlock Fire Breath. Fire Breath is one of the best shouts. One of them. It's not the best shout, but it's one of them. I had. Okay. How do you even make sure all the snot is cleaned? I'm guessing in the same way that you make sure that the skin on the outside is properly prepared. Like you're not just gonna drop a mammoth snout in in 
in dung and then just cook it like that. Although, you know, these are Nords after all. All right, off to Riverwood. Not that we need to go there for any particular reason. We're passing through there because we need to get to Shadowgrip Barrow. Which will be, again, to the east in Rift and Hold. And I could get there faster if I went on horse. But I don't know where my horse is. And the whistle mod I added mid-run to kind of alleviate this problem doesn't necessarily give me a power to call my horse. It is a it is a actual whistle that I have to purchase, which I prefer. It just means I have to wait for the uh, for the inven the merchant inventories to update, which can take several in-game days. But we need to go to Shadowgrim Barrow. We need to clean it out because there's undead there we need to kill as part of a as part of a notice board quest, I believe, from uh, from Anders in in the Hall of the Dead in Whiterun. Insert epic NPC man horse pocket episode. Oh, I see. I did not. I don't really watch a whole lot of uh, Viva La Dirt League. What I have seen, I thought was pretty all right. It wasn't outstanding, but it's not bad content. I can see why people would like it. I just don't. Like, whenever they release a video, I'm not like, Oh, I gotta watch the video! It's like, no, it's... That's pretty okay stuff. I've been binging the epic NPC man playlist. It's so stupid, it's good. I do like that it's kind of a... A, a, a satirical um, commentary on both video game RPGs and tabletop RPGs. Oh, the Khajiits are here. We have Big Khajiit Lady in Big Khajiit Lady armor. Well, it's not specifically lady armor, but you know what I mean. I like how it looks. And we have various other Khajiits. Wow, their tail their tail is sticking straight up. Like an actual cat. Alright, do you have anything to sell, Lokoon? Well, hello. Uh what have you got for sale? Take a look. He's selling some things. I don't know what my neighbor is doing. They're pounding on things. None of those spells I want. All right, we're gonna stop by. Uh, is it Madron or Rasa it's Rasad? Warm sands, friend. How may this one serve you? What have you got for sale? Take a look. All right, let's see. He's selling. Ooh. Nothing I really want or can afford in the weapons section. Of 
course, they're always selling Reach stuff. And buy the salt. Almost always need salt. Um... Kind of nothing here that I want to buy. Um, if I had more money, I'd consider that uh, I'd consider that Tetsubo, so I could get uh, Gore a new a new weapon. The only thing is, it's not. Like, just because it's a tier higher doesn't mean it does more damage. Because I'm pretty sure his Back to Corbin, which is an Elven Warhammer, technically, is actually better than an Orcish Warhammer, which is what the Tetsubo is. Now, granted, I honestly don't remember if Elven is better than Orcish or if Orcish is better than Elven. But, in my game... The different tiers don't always mean better. They are better in some ways and worse in some ways. There is variety. And I don't necessarily care for, well, I have to use this sword because it does plus one damage more. And if I don't use it, then I'm left behind. Where instead, in my overhaul, these sorts of things are standardized and weapons are treated a little differently based on the actual model and not just because well this one is is blue so I guess it does better this one is yellow so I guess it does better who are you yes uh, uh yo you are a vampire what are you doing out in the middle of the day, sir? Need something. Maybe we should try out some new spells. Hmm. Oh, yes, stagger the entire thing. Sorry, you're supposed to get staggered. There you go. You have a bloody nose. Well, that should be uh that should be a missive, because I believe we were looking for a vampire in uh in Whiterun. He stole someone's necklace. Where is Elethor? Elethor is somewhere in Whiterun, I know that much. And now we must turn this this is he really a vampire no just a regular dunmer i thought he was a vampire because i know we're hunting one what are we going imagine to if he today? wasn't a vampire it was just a random citizen and we murdered him for no reason all right y'all need to move y'all need to come over here come on hurry it up all right, now I need to tell them to uh, wait. Group, wait. The reason I wanted them to wait so, I could do this. Give him a little bit of a funeral pyre. Hmm. 
I'm only monitoring it so I know that the fire is going away so no one walks into the fire and then I get a bounty. Mmm, barbecue. Because knowing Skyrim, I'd walk away and then a chicken would run into the fire and die. And then I would go to Riverwood, everything would be fine, and then I'd come back here. And a guard would attack me and go, HALT! You violated the law. I didn't do shit. Fact. I'm keeping the place more lawful by having killed that citizen who was a thief. Although I realize maybe I should have talked to him first. Game, game is, you know, being a little stuttery. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Put the, put the sword away. Game is being just a little stuttery. Even though, you know, right now it's running fine, but my resources are not looking... They're not looking that bad. Just Skyrim things. Game's running fine, computer's running fine, and, and then the game just decides to, uh, you know, stutter anyways. I do need to practice my loot, so, um, you know, considering it's getting to be later in the evening, what we might do is we'll get to, when we get to Riverwood, we'll, we'll go to the tavern. I'm not going to perform as far as, like, for payment. I am going to practice my loot, however, because I want to get my loot to bard level. Which, from what I know, that's the highest level. I could be wrong. Uh, but once my loot is at bard level, I will specifically set aside a perk point so that I can put it in the performance uh, perk in the speech tree so that I can... Um, have the performance power, which allow also unlocks, due to another mod, bard casting, which means we can cast spells through our loot. It's a fun gameplay mechanic thing, so we can be a proper bard. Okay. I don't know if you saw that. There is a seam in the sky. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, is it not there anymore? Oh, there it is. How unseemly. Yeah, it's right here. You can just barely see it, but I, I can follow I, I can't see it over here. But I can see it over here. I saw it and it caught my eye and I'm like, that is weird. Very weird indeed. Well, we're thirsty, might as well drink. Oh yay, guess what? I, I drank at the well, but I didn't refill my water skins at the well. So now I'm going to have to pay for it. Literally, I'm going to have to go to the, the Sleeping Giant Inn and pay Orgnar 10, 10 septums to refill our water. Sorry, someone had that issue on stream some time ago. Do not remember how they took care of it, if they even did. It's really not that big of a deal. Especially since, like, it only just kind of caught my eye. And now, I, there it is. Like, it's not that noticeable, and I'm only going to see it if I'm doing this, you know? 
But it is certainly like, okay, I wish that wasn't a thing. But also, it's not that big of a deal. Not on the priority of things to fix. Now, if it was, like, a missing section of sky, then I'd be a little more concerned. Like, okay, is the game gonna crash? Or, or something like that. I think I might extend the stream a little bit. We'll see how my hunger is doing. Also, I'm going to grab more lavender because I can make acidic berry extract. And um, that is pretty good healing. It does take longer than potions to apply to my character. But it, the way I see it, it's kind of like... Resident Evil 7, the the chemical uh, healing item where you just kind of splash it all over your arm. I kind of see it like that, where you just kind of splash it all over yourself and it heals you. But it's 300 hit points of healing. So, I want to make sure that I can craft acidic berry extracts. Especially since... I like it like this, but healing potions have been exceedingly rare. Granted, I'm not making them. I'm not buying them. Not saying I won't ever on this playthrough, but it's just never been a thing I really did yet. I haven't really, I haven't really done much shopping with Alchemist, period. Um, most of the interactions I've had with Alchemist was to turn in, to turn in quests. Um, certainly haven't crafted anything because I could have an alchemy lab, but being, being the bard kind of character I am, I wanted to adopt a child. So I didn't get an alchemy lab. Plus, I thought I could do an, I could do a, an enchanting table, which apparently I can't. So it was either do something that's not really part of the build or have a kid, when it would make sense roleplay-wise. Oh, let's see, is everyone following? Oh! You know what we forgot to do? I'm gonna have to do this number. And then now we need to, you know, Tell them to follow. <laughs> I completely forgot that I told them to wait. But yeah, we'll see how I'm feeling at the end of the stream. I know my voice is already wearing thin. But if I'm not too hungry, we'll see about extending. Because I don't want to spend the entire Skyrim segment going shopping. Uh, I want to actually do stuff. I want to go to Shadow Grim Barrow, and I want to at least get some of it played. I want to play through it. Because I think that's a Hammett dungeon. And Hammett dungeons are super fun. I'm not sure if I can do it just yet, but we might. We might be able to handle it. <clears throat> there goes my voice already. Also, I forgot to record again. So we're gonna have to grab this from the Twitch VOD. Like the actual Twitch VOD. Uh, I'm gonna have to stop splitting my recordings and just record the whole thing. Granted, I'm still gonna edit them down so that it's not the intro stream, the exit stream, the breaks, the crashes, all that sort of stuff. But I'm going to have to record it as one whole thing now. Because... 
Uh, I keep forgetting to hit the record button a second time. So then I have to end up grabbing the Twitch VOD. And if for whatever reason a certain segment gets muted, then I'm then the quality of the YouTube video that will that that highlight slash VOD will be turned into will be of course reduced because there will be a section that is muted. Granted, they're usually not very big sections. Like I'm not here like playing Jay Z the entire stream. Get out of here. Fighting styles often come down to build. You got arms like a clan fear, then you got no range with a weapon, but you're quick with a shield. Just gotta get to Riverwood so we can, you know, spend the night. And then we need to go through Helgen so we can get to Riften. And then we need to spend some time in Riften Hold, not Riften the City, to find Shadowgrim Barrow and then go through the dungeon. In fact, I can feel my voice already giving out. We're not anywhere, we're, we're not even done with the stream. And I can feel my voice on, on its last legs. We'll, st we'll still keep going, I just might not extend. Like, I, wa I want to extend, but I also want to stream, be able to stream tomorrow. And I don't want to throw out my voice. Because if I throw out my voice tomorrow... I, well, obviously, I won't be able to stream tomorrow, because my voice won't be there. Riverwood Keep. course we have the burial of the guard and Alvor I wanted to bury them because they they bravely gave their lives to, to, to defend the town and paying respects out of burial Cairn does give me a 70 point health buff for 30 minutes and I'm assuming that's 30 IRL minutes that's quite a long time it's also why we took a thousand dollar reduce with us so that we could pay for food and drink <clears throat> you lost? Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Okay. We got rooms and food. Drink too. I cook. Ain't much Where else you going? to tell. Where are you going? I want to buy. I want to buy some water. Need a room? Talk to Delphine. Don't talk to me from behind the pillar. Come on now. Uh, I want some water. Of course. That's gonna cost me ten septums, because it's five septums per water skin. Um, blah, 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 blah. we don't Until want to time. perform as in get paid to perform. Well, we are going to practice. So what we're going to do 
Because we're going to come in here. Who's this guy? Who's this guy? Oh, that that's hot. I was like, what the hell? I didn't recognize him. Who's this guy? Oh, it's Lucan. You come do an honest day's work at my mill, and I'll pay you an honest day's wages. Then we'll drink. Okay. Uh, we need a play instrument, and we need to change it to the lute. And then we need to perform with the lute. What's all the commotion? This can't be happening. I'll have some meat. Certainly. Somebody do something! God help us! By the gods! Don't do that! I still need you to make a batch of those fried potatoes. Not everyone is born to be a bard. And they still clapped. Wait. I got pity claps. Okay, we're going to have some uh mammoth steak. Yes. You'll get to it later. Don't I always? I don't suppose I could convince you to take care of it now, could I? It means no. so much to us. And then we're going to have a apple. The claw back oh. where it belongs. There's something to be Thank said you. for honesty, I suppose. Okay. And then we need a room for the night. Some wine, please? Certainly. You're that visitor been poking around. I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. And then we need to pray. Take off our clothes. Okay. All right, praying time. Okay, put on our clothing again. on the the pretty net the pretty headpiece and then the um well the bracelet equip the dwarven bolt the uh what necklace do we have how about camilla's necklace And then make sure our sword is equipped. Okay. Put it away. There we go. Alright. And then it's bedtime. Sleep for eight hours, and then we're going to get up in the morning and pretty much go right on the road. Then and 
And then we need to drink. Mantle here Food for the thirsty, rooms for the because it's raining outside. Okay. And then we need to walk to Helgen. Pretty much getting an early start on the day. Coming up on the last 10 minutes of the stream, we will be back tomorrow. I think we're going to continue with Power Wash Simulator, since we're almost done with that level. And then we're going to complete, complete, continue with Skyrim again tomorrow as well. And hopefully we'll be able to play a little bit more of that than we did today. Uh, still got, like I said, about 10 minutes left, so we're not quite done. Just it's taking us a while to get anywhere because we don't have a horse. I mean, we do have a horse, it's just it ran off last time, and uh, I have yet to find it, and I have a mod that adds a whistle so I can call my horse, uh, but again, the mod is adds it to merchant inventories, so I need to wait for... I need to wait for the merchant inventories to update so I can purchase one. still. There's some wolves. Maybe I can put them to sleep. Okay. 
Just gonna try and get through here quickly. Oh, they killed a rabbit. They're going hunting. Come on, guys. We don't need to kill the wolves. Okay, I think we're I think we're well past the wolves now. Okay. I'm gonna save. <clears throat> Do I have any standing stones on me? Mage stone. Just checking. Okay. We do need to continue on the road. Don't have a whole lot to say. It's been a very fun, very relaxing stream. I would very much love to continue streaming for the day so that I can actually get to Shadow Grim Barrow and clear it out, but. Oh well, that'll, that can be for tomorrow. My voice is very much not happy right now. Oh. I have been shot. Where'd you go? Hmm? Thank you for nuking yourself. Go to sleep. You by yourself? Show me where your friends are. Oh, you actually hurt me. Well done, Gore. Wow, he decapitated her. Well, if there was one, there's probably a few around. Take a septums. A war bow. Are you using a war bow? You are. You're not the Warbo type, though, Janassa. Where is Zora? Where did Zora... There she is. I could give her... Well... She's also not really the Warbo type. Okay, that's fine. I'll uh, get this arrow out of me. Give it a save. Coming into the more colder regions.
Valkyrie is slightly warmer than Whiterun, but then again it's higher in elevation, being closer to the mountains where Whiterun is very much in a valley. Just need to get to Helgen. It'll be our first time returning to Helgen since uh, Alduin attacked. Oh, what do we have up here? We have a couple saber cats facing off with a, what appears to be a doge of some sort. Thanks, Todd, for auto-aiming the spell, which, you know, caused it to not hit. Something the opposite of what auto-aim should do. Okay, is, it, is this wolf good? We're good? Nope, you're not good. Alright, go to sleep. And then we need to get... We need to get further this way. Too bad I don't have any more water to drink and the stream is almost over. Okay, I think we're far enough away from the from the saber cats. Come on, game, what you doing? Why you gotta? Why you gotta? Oh, okay. Oh, come on. Oh, for fuck's sake! Stop circling me, and just come at me. Of course, I don't have enough magic now. Oh, and I am in the corner. For the, uh, the the one time where where auto aim would be helpful, and the game just doesn't give it to me. Uh, Todd. Please, if I'm trying to cast a spell on somebody and you're going to force an auto-aim, at least make it hit. And if you're not going to force an auto-aim, then make, uh, if, if you're going to have an auto-aim system in the, oh, there he goes, in the first place, at least make it work when I'm trying to make it work. Like, Jesus Christ. Do you imagine if Todd feels auto aim is a direct copy paste of Skyrim's and bullets constantly miss? Wouldn't be surprised. Having said that, Fallout 4 doesn't do that. I haven't I haven't seen that in Fallout 4 at all. So uh, I, I don't expect that to be a problem. But that does sound like something that would happen. That does sound like something that would definitely happen in, in a Todd RPG. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna drink a potion because we have a potion specifically just for this and then we're gonna I don't know how much good it's gonna do us we're better off just gathering wood this way chop dead wood <laughs> Use Roaring Campfire. We're not going to set up camp. We're just going to take a moment to warm up. But I do need to eat. Have our other mammoth steak. Hmm. 
Might as well, you know, sit at the fire. In fact, let's get out of F7 and shift F7. Good enough. And just to make sure the camera doesn't break, no, then we'll sit down again. Okay. That's going to be where we call the stream today, I think. Let's give it a save. <clears throat> Let's open our journal. Open our dream journal. New entry. Oh, come on. New entry. Head. Head through Helgen to go east to Riften Hold. Shadow, Grim, Barrow. Is on the eastern, no, excuse me, western end of Riften Hold. Check map. Okay. Thank God for this journal mod. Holy shit, this really comes in handy. Because knowing me, I'll forget what I was doing by the time I come to play this next time. So, having said that, give it another save. <clears throat> and that's going to be where we call it for today. Stick around for the raid, everybody. Let's find somebody to raid. Come on. Twitch, you gonna you gonna respond here? Hello. Carl's in Finland stealing tanks again. We could, we could say hi to Carl. However, Laser Frog is also streaming. And I always like to stop by Laser Frog's stream, so I don't necessarily want to raid Carl. And then go watch somebody else. So we're just gonna raid Laser Frog. He's currently playing some sort of old retro game. But uh, we're gonna send you off over there. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow with some more Power Wash Simulator and Skyrim. And I shall see you all then. We'll see you over at Laser Frog's channel. And we'll see you later. Ba 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 ba.